After only one week, it felt like Ash had always lived at Hawthorne Manor. Hanako treated him like she did everyone else. Make of that what you will. Zabel and Ash were always going at it over something. Anything was fuel for an argument. Ash acted like a big brother towards me. Ash wanted to explore the town of Wormwood, especially the library, but Zabel forbid him, a human, going out into danger. Finally, after much wheedling, Ash talked Zabel into spelling him to look like a vampire so he could go out and explore. We were still afraid that some of the monsters in town would smell his human scent. I would think you'd be tired of libraries, lawbreaker. You'd think wrong, then. Well, I, for one, can't wait to see how next level a monster library is. Ash, watch out! Ow! Watch it! Hey, sorry. In front of Ash stood a scruffy wolf man, Lyle Wolfowitz. He was clothed in a loose-fitting flannel shirt and jeans, vaguely humanoid while also appearing vaguely wolf-like. Are you blind? <laughs> Sorry about that, it was an accident. Oh look, a library! We really should go learn something, gotta go. Ah! Zabel dragged Ash toward the door of the massive Romanesque building looming above. The inside was as ornate as the exterior. The rows of books seemed to go on endlessly reaching all the way to the vaulted ceilings. This is amazing! Oh my god. Welcome to the Wormwood Public Library. Wow, I am actually impressed. There's lots of library ghosts, so don't be too disrespectful of the space. You wouldn't want someone coming into your house, messing up your alphabetically organized belongings, and speaking in an outdoor voice, would you? Or just a thought. Don't be disrespectful to the space, period. There's got to be hundreds of books here. Hundreds of thousands, actually. Oh my god. Follow me. I want you to meet Rochelle. We turned our attention to the front desk. Sitting in front of an archaically large computer was what looked like an animated gargoyle lady. Her skin was stone gray. When she turned to us, her wings tucked into her back. Thick bifocals magnified stony, literally blue-gray eyes. Rock solid, again, literally, horns poked out of her molted gray hair. Hello, old friend. Zabel, how are you? I'm just bringing by some new friends to introduce you to. This is Georgie, and this is Ash. I can't stop. Can't glad a hand. Not now. Too much. Too much to do. Down a man. Where's Loveland? Gone. Elsa's. He's at Elsa's. Sprained tongue. I'm sorry to hear that. Who's Loveland? The library's assistant and resident idiot. What kind of monster is he? A frog one. Huh. Humans know him as the Loveland Frog. I've never heard of him. He's big in Ohio. Oof. To have your claim to fame be anything related to Ohio? He's gone. I'm alone, all by myself. Have to organize everything. Does that mean you're looking for a library assistant? Am I? Yes. 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 I am. I could do it? Wait, what? Fully employed is the opposite of lying low. Have you worked in a library before? Yes, I, I also work at the Sweet Gum Library. I was a library aide there. Shh. Sweet Gum? Uh, no, no. Sweet Gloom. Mm, you know, the that perpetually ill-lit small town. Really more of a hamlet. Idiot. You're human? Yes? You're... A human? Rochelle, listen, I know how this looks. Your human is not my business. You don't care? Humans don't interest me. You won't tell anyone? No, no, no interest, no, no time. But library assistance is an interest, special self-interest. Why would you want to work here? I thought you wanted to be a musician. People can be more than one thing. I know it's crazy, but I've never seen a library like this before. I could live to be a hundred and still not even get through half of what's here. You like working in the library? You can read? I thought it was your punishment. What? You're a lawbreaker. You said you only worked at the library for your community service. Oh, uh, that. Yeah, I lied. What? Why? It sounds way cooler. You know, dangerous. You know? Then. I am in awe of the written word and love participating in any way to the transmission of knowledge. Is that cooler? No, it definitely isn't. Humans are often idiots, and this human is certainly an idiot. Wait. No, sorry, no. 
A human hasn't worked here in over 200 years. Wouldn't be safe, wouldn't be smart, wasn't smart then. What happened? Eaton, the Tic Tic. Tic Tic ate him. Who? Don't worry about it. She said no. We should probably go. Wait, please. You love books, right, Rochelle? Yes. So you understand me. You know why I'd want to work here when the only alternative is a tiny, sad, pathetic human library. Human libraries are an embarrassment. Then you can see why I'd do anything to work here, yeah? Yes. So how about it? No. Dangerous? It's dangerous. You'll die. Uh... Sorry, Ash. It really is for the best. You could always come back for carefully supervised visits. Or go back to your own town and leave us alone forever. Yes, that's a good option too. Um, how about we get lunch? You have to be starving. I'm not hungry. Maybe a little. I made some vegan marshmallow treats last night. Have one to tide you over. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Fine. I'll take one. What was that? I don't know. An earthquake? Lawbrick. Ash. Go back to the manor with Hanako and Georgie. Guys, keep him safe. I'm not a babysitter. What about you? He's right. We shouldn't leave you. I'll be fine. Get moving. Zabel may be an idiot, but she's got more of a chance than he does. Aw, oh, Hanako. That's the nicest thing you've said to me in decades. We promised to escort Ash back to the manor, and only then returned to help Zabel. It didn't take long to find the source of the rumbling, because it was right outside the library doors. We ran into it, again, literally, a 20-foot-tall, gargantuan being of smooth clay. Lyle Wolfowitz, the wolfman, was on its shoulder. Though the clay man's mouth was lopsided and expressive, its eyes were still. Dark, upside-down triangles with no sign of life. What a foreboding, awe-inspiring sight. A golem. This has been Georgie Romero is Done For, created by Cat Walker Shea, co-written and co-directed by Cat Walker Shea and Rachel Greenberg, produced by Rachel Greenberg, Sox Whitmore, and Cat Walker Shea, music composed by Evan Johnson, sound designed by Elliot Yoakum, recording engineering by Evan Johnson and Elliot Yoakum, Georgie Romero, voiced by Sox Whitmore, Zabel Hawthorne, voiced by Cat Walker Shea. Hanako Kanagawa, voiced by Jade Robinson. Ash Ramis, voiced by Caleb Feitsum. Rochelle, voiced by Rachel Greenberg. Lyle Wolfowitz, voiced by BK Dawson. This show is funded solely by our creativity. Please support us by leaving us a review and rating our show on iTunes or Podchaser. Until next time, this has been Georgie Romero is Done For.